What's up, everybody? Super crazy. I'm here bringing up the NBA 2K14 my team video. What's up, guys? I'm sorry I haven't been making videos, man. This this past week, I think I only put out like one, maybe two at the most. I think it was only one. So I'm kind of slacking. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have this video is gonna be out, and I'm gonna put a pack opening video out after this one. So be on the lookout for that. So I have two videos up today, man. I've just been really, really busy with things, man. I'm trying to fix up my backyard, get my fence in, and all that other fun stuff, man. But besides that and basketball practice with kids and you know, all that other fun stuff, I want to talk about the NBA Draft Lottery. Yes, this commentary should have been out about two, three days ago. But being busy, like I said, and I just want to talk about it, man. Is it rigged? I think it's rigged. I mean, that's just my personal opinion. But I really, truly believe that it's rigged. I mean, how else... You know, could you put it? Uh, I, I really don't. I don't know, man. It, it, it's seriously rigged, man. I, I, I'm going to say this. All right. I'm, I'm going to take you guys back to 2008, right? When Derrick Rose is coming out of college. And um, the Bulls, they had the ninth. They were um ninth to pick or whatever. You know, before the draft lottery, they were in ninth place with a 1.7% chance of winning the lottery. Okay. They know Derrick Rose is the hometown kid and all this and that. And guess what? They win the lottery, get first, from ninth with a 1.7% chance, and go on and take Derrick Rose. That's kind of fishy, ain't it? Don't you think that's a little weird? You know, the hometown player, you know, Derrick Rose goes to Chicago Bulls. They just happen to win the lottery. Eh, I think it's a little weird, but that's just me. And then we'll move on to the Wizards. And I think it was like 2000, I don't know, 10 or 12 or something like that. The year the Nets had that really bad um, season. I, I really don't remember what year it was. I think it was 2010 or 12. One of them. The Nets had a terrible, terrible season. Uh, we won 12 games, I think the whole year or something like that. Yeah, we were like 12 and 70. You know, we were supposed to have this whatever 25% chance or whatever it is to win the lottery. And guess what? The Wizards end up winning the lottery. They had a bad record as well, but I think they were in fourth place at the time or whatever. And it just so happens a few days before the Wizards owner passed away. And it just so happened that before, I don't know, man, it's just a conspiracy thing, man. I mean, this is all just, this is just my opinion. But I mean, a few days before the Wizards owner passed away and then they go on, they do the lottery and the Wizards win and they take John Wall. Now, that's that's just one. <laughs> I mean, that's just another example. I mean, a lot of people are going to say, hey, man, but you're a Nets fan. You, know, you would be a little upset about it. I get it, man. The people who have, you know, the top four picks, or, or, I mean, whatever, the first pick in the draft, that 25% chance, they never win the damn thing anyways. I can't even remember the last one to actually win it. So, getting the worst wins in a league or, you know, not enough wins in a league or whatever, you know, it... It doesn't really do shit because, you, in all honesty, you never win the lottery anyways. You always get, like, the, the second or third or fourth pick. So, it doesn't even mean crap. And now, just more recently, man, the Cleveland Cavaliers winning the lottery again. Again. This is three times in four years, okay, that they've won the number one overall pick. Now, there has to, I mean, yes, they have a good, solid young team. No way in the hell should they win the past three out of four years. I don't care how they want to put it. They want to put it one one year. I don't know. They got um the the Clippers pick or whatever for Baron Davis and whatever else, you know, to take on this contract or some shit. And then, you know, they fix the how, oh, it was the Clippers pick that won the lottery, you know, whatever, this and that. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> you know, anyways, man, I mean... To be honest, man, they're just trying to recover from that whole LeBron fiasco when he left and did his stupid shit and I think it was like 2008, whatever the fuck year it was. I don't remember what year it was. I 2010. That's probably when it was. But yeah, man, that was just a bunch of BS if you ask me. I mean, it took, what did they take? Um, Kyrie Irving, okay, in 2011. Uh, 2013, I don't remember who they Oh, yeah, they took Anthony Bennett last year, and now they have this year's first-round pick. Who knows who they're going to take? 
Uh, it could be Parker, it could be Jabari Parker, it could be Andrew Wiggins, or it could be that um, that center. I don't, even, I can't even say his name starts with an E. And bold, I don't know what the hell his name is. I probably just torched it, but whatever. But this is my solution to fixing the draft lottery. It's just my idea. I don't know if it's gonna, you know, I don't know if it's a great idea. I mean, it sounds good to me. But the top four picks, okay, because you have 14 lottery teams, I think it is, right? So if you have 14 lottery teams, the four, 14 to 4, okay, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, 14 to 5, those those picks right there, those ones you could do a lottery for. The top four picks, okay, should have the greatest chance, and no matter what happens in that draft lottery, None of those teams should move out of the fourth spot. Now, if you have the, the first pick, and say we give them a 36% chance of winning, okay? Second place, we'll have a 25% chance of winning, first place. And then third place, we'll have a 20% chance. And fourth place, we'll have a 19% chance. Now, if you do that, the top four picks, they all have a chance of being in the top four. And you can't knock them out, you know, to five or six or seven you know, I think already right now, I think it's like first place has like a, I don't know, a 75% chance to be in the top three or some shit like that, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. But I do think the top four seeds should remain the top four. I mean, the order could change when you do the draft lottery. I just don't think they should be out of there because obviously those teams lost all those games and they're the teams that actually need the most help. I mean, that's just my opinion. On, on, on that situation, and that's just my idea to fix it, who knows, they'll probably never change it, and if you guys notice, man, I know they do the, the ping pong balls, and this and that, and all this other crap to, to get, but think about it, right, if they're doing the same lottery, right, if they're doing this lottery, and people get, you know, the first pick or whatever, and they have all these, you know, they have a ton of different combinations, right, that's how they decide the lottery. They have the, like different combinations, you know, for certain teams and how many they get and this and that. Now, what they should do is, I mean, because obviously the ping pong balls, the more numbers or the, the paint you have on those ping pong balls could go in a different variety of ways where the, 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 the numbers, the ping pong balls with two numbers on it would probably come up more than the ones with two. Or maybe I just said that backwards. But anyways, you guys understand what I'm saying, man. The the paint on the balls can make a difference between the numbers that you would get out of there and would and wouldn't get out of there. Now, if you have the same issue going on over and over again where the number one pick is not getting the pick in the damn draft at all over the past, I don't know, 12 to 15 years. I could be wrong. I haven't checked. But anyways, if you have that issue... Then, then you got to change it up, man, because it's just not right. And and that's just my personal opinion with that nonsense. But, yeah, man, I don't know. I know I'm just rambling on about it, but they should fix it, man. It's just my, my honest opinion. Are they going to fix it? Who the hell knows? Probably not. But, you know, it is what it is, guys. And, you know, that's just the NBA for you. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like the NBA and everything, man, but they... They rig sh They make it so people think they rig shit. You know what I mean? It's like, they don't even do it quietly, you know? <laughs> like, like, like slide them up. Don't always give them number one pick. Give them the second pick, you know? So it doesn't look as suspicious. But, you know, whatever. The Cavaliers could have got a top three pick, you know, and they would have been fine with no matter who they picked anyways because this year's draft is actually really good. So, yeah, man, I'm going to stop rambling on about that. I could ramble on all day about the fucking draft lottery and the referees and just, just everything, man. But yeah, that's just me. I'm just a rager. <laughs> Anyways. But yeah, man, I just wanted to get this out for you guys, man. Because I know it's been a little while since I've actually, you know, put out the video. I think it's been a couple of days or something like that. But yeah, man, here it is. And um, the pack opening is going to be of me trying to finish that damn... Um, that Pistons uh, collection. I think I only need like two players. Then I get Isaiah Thomas. So that's what the pack opening is going to be about. And I might even throw in a different. I don't know. Like open up one other pack or something like that. Maybe two other packs that are different from the Pistons pack there. But yeah man. I'm trying to finish up those collections. Get those done and over with man. I mean they're coming along pretty good. Oh Mullen. I've been missing so many threes. 
<laughs> Jordan on fire. Uh, was it because I wasn't set really? I don't know, man. What's up with this game? And when you're wide open, you just miss these threes. It could say excellent, you know, a shot, shot, shot selection, this and that, and you still like miss like horribly bad. I don't know. I don't know. They do miss shots in real life, you know, wide open and stuff. But I mean, come on, man. It's not real life though. It's a game. Oh my, like, like, how the hell did I just miss that layup, man? I know he double pumped and everything, but like, what the hell? Like, come on, game. You'll make me miss that little two-footer with Tim Duncan. <laughs> if that was that was the real Timmy in real life, man. He when he would have slammed it. But yeah, man. I got. I, I, oh, another thing I want to talk about real, really fast, man. Before this game's over, it's almost over. I only got like a minute left of it. But they put out these stupid ass locker codes. Chris Smooth played LD Two K, and if you know Chris Smooth won, they were gonna give out the codes for um. Diamond Kobe, and then they did like Diamond Duncan and this and that. And guess what, man? I watched the game. I wait for them to release the damn codes. And what happens, right? I go put the codes in twice, right? Or actually, the first time, right? I put it in, not verified, okay? The second time I put it in, guess what? Oh, the, the, the limit is reached. It's uh, like, what the hell? So what happened the first time when I put the damn code in? What do you mean it's not verified? I put in the same goddamn code, <laughs> and you can't verify it. And then the second time I put it in, oh, the limits reached. That's some bullshit, man. That pissed me off because I actually waited like a, I don't know, like it was like a half hour, an hour, just just so they could release the codes. And they put out only I don't know, they put out four thousand codes uh, for uh, Diamond Kobe, and it was like I don't know four hundred or a th I think I think it was like a thousand codes for Tim Duncan or some shit like that. I don't know, man. I was pissed off about it. I can never get any of the damn codes anyways. Maybe I'm too damn slow typing in them, but I think it's bullshit that they tell me that I can't verify crap, and then I go and put it back in again, and then they can come up with some other cheese saying, oh, the limits reach, and this and that, and codes is invalid. But, but fuck that code, and let us be able to get unlock these goddamn players, man. It's not fair. It's not fair. A lot of people should be able to get these. But do me a favor, guys. Share the video, man. It helps me out. Like the video. If not, do what you do. Super crazy. I'm out. Peace.